So can I have those two minutes? No? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm Philippe. I work at Tigalia. I've been working for years on integrating Gestrema into WebKit. But lately, we've been thinking about doing the reverse, which means if you have a Gestrema application, you could use WebKit inside. So one example of use case we have in mind is overlays. So look at those text in the bottom of the screen. It could be HTML instead of something else. <laughs> Otherwise, also, if you, have, if you are live broadcasting a football match, for instance, you display the score in some way or the other. You could use HTML, display some logo. That's a picture of a dog. So how would you do that? So we have a, a WebKit core port for embedded platforms. And it's tailored for uh, embedded platforms. And we do a six month um, release cycle. And it provides security updates, which is quite important on embedded nowadays. Uh, there's no dependency on any UI uh, library. So you wonder, how do you do the rendering? Well, it's the application, actually, that's taking care of that and through uh, what we call view backends. So in the case I'm presenting today, the application would be a GStreamer application, making use of a new plugin I wrote called GStwp. Uh, it's in BAD. It was released, released in GStreamer 1.16. And how does it work? More or less, we, set, we get the EGL display and context from the video sync. And we create a FDO, WP FDO backend uh, in that element and associate it to the web view and uh, make use of that web view to load some kind of URL or some bytes. And then we get from the view backend EGL images that we wrap into G just EGL memory. So we get uh, basically z zero copy from the zero copy rendering. So an example of an application, here I have um, two video sources. One coming from the, the plugin I wrote and from another media source that could be the webcam, for instance. Um, and those two sources are mixed in a GL video mixer. And the, the web view is put on top of the, the other source. And the web, the web view background is transparent. So they are overlaid together. And then you can basically do whatever you want here. You, do, uh, you can do a preview with the GTTK sync. And you can do RTMP streaming as well. Um, the future work I'm going to work on. Um, so there's some navigation support in GStreamer since 2006 or so. It was meant for DVD navigation support. But uh, nowadays, we need more things like touch events, scroll, uh, even hardware key code support. So I'm starting to work a bit on that. Um, as the plugin is upstream, we want to have CI as well. So I've wrote some tests. Uh, they are not yet merged upstream and not yet running, but soon, I hope. I'm also working on audio support so that you can get the audio from the web kit and then pipe it back to the, your GStreamer pipeline. Um, so I have a, a roadmap for that. I started the first point in web kit. And then I wrote a showcase demo for that pipeline I presented earlier. You can see on the right side a GTK application written in Rust and using the plugin to do the overlay. You can modify the code on the right hand side, and then optionally, if you want, you can stream it to Twitch. So it could be useful for gamers or whatever. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>